What's up guys, welcome back, Dead Jando here. Uh, we'll talk about it because I just spent the last like seven or eight hours of my life, like last night, I think I stayed up until 7 a.m. or something like that, coding. Um, so we were supposed to we were supposed to do this part uh, with the electromagnet flipping, which we technically did, but I ended up frying a microcontroller. So we're waiting for uh, another replacement of this and I'll talk more on this. Uh, we're going opto, opto coupling now, the, the longer story. But more importantly today, we have slotted a new induction probe into the head of the printer and this induction probe actually works <laughs> would you look at that oh my god and you know what that means I got carried away last night and I literally slapped my hands against the keyboard and probably coded out another thousand lines of code but we have the entire detection algorithm now encoded into the board minus one edge case I don't want to talk about it yet but I'll show you guys but let me let me just show you I'm gonna start it and I'm just gonna keep talking while I'm going because I am just way too happy with how this came out so we're gonna move we're gonna move upon up here just just for sakes and I just want to show you how literally awesome this is now so the way that this works is it uses the active scan positions that uh, pieces that can be moved by the player and it puts the induction head to each one of those pieces and one of those locations where you could have made a move. So I could have moved this pawn forward, I could have moved a pawn here, and just knowing how this, this is scanning right now, but it goes through all the active scan positions, so all those yellow squares, it's gonna go through and check and see if I move something there. Now, for the example, I'm gonna move the knight just to just to there, just, just to show you how literally awesome it is. So look, it just detected that there was something on that square, and now it has to check between the two options, because there's two things that can move to that square. One being the pawn and one being the knight. And it just checked, it said, oh look, there's there's a pawn there. So it couldn't have been the pawn. And now it's checking the knight slot. And it's like, oh look, it was the knight. <laughs> and, and this this may look over overly complicated and easy, but without touching the board at all, we were able to update the scan state of the board and the position and the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally now all I have to do is if I want to play a piece, I literally just play the piece. And, and then as it's scanning, it's going to go back in and it'll scan through. It's kind of slow right now due to the scan speed check. Longer, literally longer story. Oh my God. But you guys have no idea how happy this makes me. Ah, it's going to go over, I think in a second. Oh, well, maybe it'll check this. And it even, it even mitigates all of the captures. So if it checks if it's a capture, then it checks back here. It checked the piece that it would have captured. All this other stuff. And it is absolute insanity. <laughs> Unless I brick something. And I did brick something. Great. <laughs> well, there. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> but all that was working uh, literally last night. I think I know what I bricked. It's, I'm working on the capture algorithm right now for the piece. But the board pretty much just plays itself now. Um, my brain is way too fried. I need to get back into the code base and fix that. So uh, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to clip in now some of the other clips from when I was playing with the uh, this part. Okay. So we, we just installed this on the bottom and we're gonna test it all going um, it's I added another microcontroller to this whole mess of wires but we have another ESP32 that's now controlling the toggle ability of the electromagnets now it's time to test it's all just gonna be running off requests to this and we realistically could handle it through the Raspberry Pi but uh, does this work yeah this works so uh, you know but yeah beefy beefy H bridge right here so this should be able to handle way more than we're even putting out here so should be good to go let me flip it over Okay, so this is the moment truth to see if I'm a good developer or not. We turn the mag head on, so that's good there. When we run this now, if I can control R, it should fall off. Or move or something. What the? Ah! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. So that, that actually did work. So no longer, it, it, there's no there's no magnetic strength in the middle, but it didn't, uh, it didn't throw it the way I wanted it to. Arr! Well, maybe if we do this, you'll be able to see it snap back on if I run the thing again. Maybe I give a little push. No, it didn't run. <laughs> well, it moved. <laughs> okay, so this is actually harder to show than I thought it was, and it's not doing exactly what I thought it would do, to be completely honest with you. Um, I was expecting a, a larger like push-off force, but I think it's because this outer ring becomes the same magnetic field or, or something. It's like reversed on the outside. So either these aren't strong enough or something, but look, it's that same thing if I, if I refresh the page. So this is just calling a web request to the magnet. And you'll see now, it doesn't actually want to stick. Now it'll go out to the edge like that. 
And this is something magnets don't really do, but if I flip it now, it'll stick back down. Same thing, we'll refresh again. And then if we push her out to the side, it's that same thing, and then flip, because it really wants to be this direction. Yeah, but, but it works. <laughs> okay, so everything was going great, and I was doing all this other testing. I didn't even get to film it, but I had the pieces like flipping. Uh, I went down to reconfigure the controller because something got stuck on. I have literally no idea what happened, but I fried this little microcontroller, so we gotta figure out why. I think maybe the bridge was open and I pulled it off and it like, I, I don't know. Worst case, we have another one, but I didn't feel like soldering, so. Ah. Okay, so I'm an idiot, and I figured out what I did now. Um, now, this is, this is a, I guess, a little more of a technical electronics thing, uh, and especially when it comes to do with magnets and collapsing magnetic fields. Uh, something you might, may or may not know, when you collapse a magnet or turn it off, it actually creates a, a high-frequency spike of electricity that comes back down. Same reason on the induction probe, why we use a Zener diode slash uh, some other, it's a long story. But uh, this has no coupling between, or it has coupling between the actual control logic and the circuit itself which is a problem when we're not controlling it from the same board so we just toasted one of those little Arduinos I just bought another drive circuit that uh, is using well, this is actually the same drive circuit but I just bought another drive circuit that's using opto couplers uh, so instead of there being that direct connection between the two wires metal touch metal there's gonna be light beams that shoot the it, it's a long story but hopefully it works uh, fortunately I didn't fry the Printer. Also, double fortunately, the induction probe actually works now. Uh, longer story, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But that's about it for today. Uh, just an update video. Uh, same thing. I wanted to keep you guys knowing I'm going, staying alive, doing doing stuff. Hey, look, it just got that move now. Now it's gonna say, "Oh, look, did you move your pawn?" Actually. And I'm gonna say, oh yes, I did move my pawn actually. But I mean, we got, we got some quite a couple little slight improvements that need to be made, uh, and I know exactly what's wrong. So I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I can literally dig you into the piece of the code that's actually wrong right here. It's the checking, it's the checking between the probe state. Uh, but, but yeah, that's about it for today. We're we're going we're going good. Um, some kind of bot in the next couple of days. We're gonna be pumping out. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.